Looking back on your time with the AJGA, what do you remember the most about it? I just remember getting to compete against other kids my age that were the best. Sometimes it was regionally, sometimes nationally or even internationally, but the chance to go from playing against local competition to test myself against the best at the time is, uh, that, that was something that I remember. Um, I learned a lot about myself, how you know, I stacked up, but also just um, you know, how I handled myself in that moment. Um, learning that at an early age is pretty important, and AJGA really helps you uh, definitely get a handle on that quickly. I think the, the AJGA does a great job with, with being inclusive. Uh, golf is not that accessible for a lot of the, um, for a lot of the world, and AJGA recognizes that, and through the ACE grant, they do a great job helping some kids that wouldn't maybe be able to travel and be able to come compete. It breaks down that barrier for them, and I think that's just fantastic that um, it creates opportunities for somebody who might not have that other opportunity. Not only do I still keep in touch with some players I played AJGA with, but I still am beaten by them and trying to beat them every week. There's still players that, that were you know, groomed on the AJGA and then further into college and then in the pros that are still competing. And um, it's just a testament to the extension of a career in golf, both forward to the age where I am now, like I'm 48, and uh, you know, I see no end in sight. And then in reverse, back to when I was like 14, when I first played my AJGA event for the first time, that's a pretty long career. And to see the same faces then that I see now, albeit not that many, but still some, is pretty incredible. Why do you think it's important for pros and former members of the AJGA to get involved? I think it's the nature of golf, to understand what golf has given us. Um, I mean, I, I just, it's pretty obvious, but you know, other than the obvious, the, golf has given me a lot more, and it's taught me a lot about myself. It's uh, introduced me to a lot of really wonderful people, and uh, just whatever I can do to sort of like, you know, say thank you to the game. Uh, I think it's a natural fit to host an AJJ event and start an impression on kids that um, that feels the same way that I felt when PGA Tour players hosted events back in the you know the early 90s and late 80s. What are some of the changes in golf that I'd like to be a part of? Hmm. Well, actually, you know, I think um, if you would ask me the question about what part of changes in golf I'd like to be a part of before COVID, I probably would have had a big long list. But COVID has actually brought golf into like a really good place, I feel like. And just today, playing with some of the Junior Am participants and some of the sponsor Transamerica groups, I talked to two or three people who said they didn't really play golf much until COVID. And then it was something they could do, they could safely get outside and enjoy, and it really didn't change golf that much. So I'm proud of that, first of all, how uh, I'm proud of being a part of a community that really rose to meet the opportunity that, um, that COVID presented for it, and that's the game of golf in the industry of golf. I'm proud of the way that golf handled uh, the whole um, social distancing and um, you know the the dangers that were in the pandemic and and the golfers themselves I'm proud of how they participated in a safe way and allowed golf to continue going while we know if you just look at other countries we know that the eyes of the governing bodies were on golf in a very strict way and and I think we we passed the test and I think that's something we should all be proud of and um, so I don't know if I want to be a part of any changes in golf going forward because I don't know that golf needs a whole lot of change um, I think golf's done great and um, we were losing players there for a while I think golf was shrinking and I think COVID has turned that around a little bit could you talk a little bit about having your son as a caddy and kind of how that came about what the plans are for the future and what it means to you to be able to spend that time with him Okay, sure. Um, my son Reagan is my younger son. He's 24 right now, and uh, he's been caddying for me since the season started. He's been, uh, he graduated from Georgia Tech last year, and he was working for Delta Airlines. And because of COVID, his job kind of got interfered with a little bit, as a lot of people can understand. So he had some free time. Um, his, his start date after, well, you know, call it what you want to, after COVID, during COVID, his start date had got pushed back to about uh, November. And so he had free time and, and he had caddied for me when he was a teenager, but he came to me and we played a lot of golf together. He's a good golfer. He came to me and said, hey, um, you know, while I'm not doing anything, I'd, I'd love to caddy a tournament. And so um, the first tournament was in Napa and it happens to be a tournament that um, a lot of the caddies don't really love going to because it's an expensive place to go and visit. 
And um, so I said, well, why don't you just caddy for me at the next tournament? It was like two weeks later. And so um, we went out there and won that tournament. You know, and having him on the bag, it just, uh, it brings out like a new comfort level for me. He and I think the same and we analyze the shots and uh, kind of plan out things in a similar way. He buys into my strategies and some of my nonsense, I guess you could say, and, and I buy into his um, opinion about things because I trust that he's really good at processing information. And it's just been a really good team, you know, I mean, father, son, call it whatever you want to, but I think Reagan is good enough at caddying. He could caddy for anybody in the world right now. He's just, it's not just a son thing, it's a caddy thing. He's doing awesome. And so I'm happy for him. He's getting married later this year, so he's socking away a little bit of dough, which doesn't hurt. But he's going to caddy for me through the end of the season, and uh, hopefully we have a big run in the FedEx Cup playoffs, and uh, that'll be it. So um, I've got to make a big decision coming up at some point. But Reagan's caddied since the beginning of the season. He's going to ride it out all the way through the end of the year, and uh, we'll go from there.